final solo mío de buey, aquí. Poco hecho. Eso es, y lo vais a mandar arriba, ¿no? Para cocinarlo. Okay. Sí. These are the most famous foodie destinations in the world. I'm James Blick and I'm going to show you the best places to eat in Madrid. From the roar of Gran Vía to the traditional Plaza de Salesas, Justicia has always seemed to me to be more than just one neighborhood. It's so diverse. So what really holds this place together? Well, I've finally figured it out. It's glamour. Whether you're young or old, whether you're super trendy or extremely elegant, this is the neighborhood to see and be seen. And of course, where there's glamour, there's always great food. Let's check it out. I remember the first time I walked into Angelita, this wine bar that recently opened, and took a look at the long and perfect wine list. Wines from Italy, from Spain, from France, even from New Zealand, my country. I just sat down and I said to the waiter, serve me what is great today. And I ate and drank like a king. It was the beginning of a love affair. Two brothers, David and Maria, run this place with passion and energy. They change the menus every week so you can be sure that the products are fresh and seasonal. And today they've prepared for me slowly stewed tuna cheek that's been mixed with cane sugar. I mean, it sounds almost too good to be true. It's so rich and so dense, it's beautiful. Let's see how it goes with the wine. The tuna matches perfectly with this wine, which is just a real, true Rioja. It's elegant, it's fruity, it's fresh. It's a wonderful combination. I've got a dream to go shopping for the very best products and then get someone to cook it all for me. Welcome to my dream. Here in the San Anton market, surrounded by all these beautiful stalls, you can choose the piece of meat or fish that, that really takes your fancy and send it to the sky. Up there in the Cocina de San Anton, they cook it exactly how you want it. And today, I feel like meat. El final, solo mío de buey, aquí. Poco hecho. Que bien, a ver. Que trozo más grande y más bonito. Pero el Valle del Este. De de origen. Eso es, y lo vais a mandar arriba, ¿no? Para cocinarlo. Okay. Sí. The beach is hundreds of miles away, but who needs the beach when you're up here in the sky, up on the rooftop of the market in the Cocina de San Anton? This steak looks incredible. I'm digging in. Cooked to perfection. Now the wine. Perfectly balanced, and it's got a fruity intensity, and at the same time, just a touch of wood. I love it. I'm very happy here. La Taberna Carmencita is a living museum here in Madrid. It opened its doors in 1854 and famous people like Pablo Neruda or Federico García Lorca have eaten and drunk here. And nowadays it's a perfect combination of the flavors of old Madrid with the latest food trends of the capital. There's no food more typical in Madrid than calamari. One option is to go to the Plaza Mayor, the main square, and eat them in a sandwich, a bocadillo. Another option is to come here to this place that's full of history and so beautiful and try them here. Perfectly cooked, a mouthful of ocean, I love it. These were my favorite spots for their sophistication, history, and innovation. But there's still so much more to discover. Join me on my next trip. I'm very happy here.